Good evening. This is Agashwani Gohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. And the headlines. Union Environment Minister Pubendra Yadav launches mobile application called Mary Life. Union Home Minister Misha says government has repealed around 2,000 irrelevant laws since 2015. Nagaland Foothill Road Coordination Committee will undertake joint inspection from New Land to Desert to ascertain technical completion of the road construction. And two-day tribal artisans Mela begins in Town Hall, Twensa. Now the news in detail. Union Environment, Forest and Climate Change Minister Pubendra Yadav today launched a mobile application called Merry Life, My Life in New Delhi. This app is inspired by the concept of life envisioned by Prime Minister Narendra Modi at COP26, which emphasizes mindful and deliberate utilization instead of mindless and wasteful consumption. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Yadav said that this app will showcase the power of citizens, especially young people, in saving the environment. He also mentioned that through this app, simple actions in daily lives can have a larger climate impact. The minister expressed hope that a portal and app together drive a national movement for life. Home Minister Amit Shah said that the government has repealed around 2,000 irrelevant laws from 2015. Inaugurating the training program on legislative drafting in New Delhi today, Shah said since the Narendra Modi government came to power, various initiatives have been taken in the field of law. He said legislative drafting is not a science or an art, it is a skill that must be implemented with spirit. He said the law must be clear and no grey area should be there. He urged the officers of Parliament and state legislatures that the law should be drafted in simple and clear words so that there is no point of conflict. Nagaland Foothill Road Coordination Committee, NFHRCC, will undertake a joint inspection tour at the earliest from Newland to Dizit under Mont District to ascertain the technical completion of the road construction work before the onset of the rainy season. The decision was taken during the joint stakeholders meeting consisting of BW Roads and Bridges officials, contractors, Dimapu based tribal hohos, and the committee members held at Dimapu. The committee also reiterated its appeal to the government to put on priority list in the current financial year for NAC funding for construction of the Foothill Road in accordance with the State Assembly Resolution adopted on September 22, 2022 and further reaffirmed it at the first Assembly session in March 2023. Deputy Commissioner Dwensang Nokcha Sashi today inaugurated the two-day Tribal Artisans Mela at Town Hall Dwensang. It is organized by Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India in collaboration with District Administration Dwensang, saying that generally handicrafts and handlooms are mainly based at the village level in Nagaland. He said such Mela brings opportunities to the local artisans not only to showcase their work but also to open a window of opportunity to sell their products worldwide. Nokluck District Disaster Management Authority, DDMA, has constituted a committee to review and draft the District Disaster Management Plan. It was constituted during the first quarterly meeting held recently at the DC's Conference Hall, Nokluck, under the chairmanship of Deputy Commissioner and Chairman DDMA, Nokluck, Ari Kumba. During the meeting, BWD, Roads and Preachers, PHET, District Hospital and Food and Civil Supplies highlighted the challenges faced by them, including shortage of manpower, equipment and machinery. This news comes to you from Agashwani, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News On Air app and YouTube channel AIA News Kohima. The efforts are on to elect the new Chief Minister of Karnataka by the Congress Party as senior leaders Sita Ramaya and D.K. Shiva Kumar have staked a claim to the post. The party has gained absolute majority in the Assembly election held on 10 May and the government formation process is in progress. Former Chief Minister Maharashtra 
Sushil Kumar Shinde, AICC General Secretary Jitendra Singh, and Congress Leader Dibak Baparia, who were appointed as observers by AICC President, have returned to New Delhi after collecting the opinion of all the Congress legislators. The Karnataka Congress Legislature Party meeting held yesterday in Bengaluru had unanimously authorised the President of Indian National Congress, Malik Arjun Karke, to take a decision on the Legislative Party leader. Siddharamaya has left for Delhi. Zemenu District Planning and Development Board, DPDB, has resolved to forward the upgradation of Zemenu Sub-Health Centre to Primary Health Centre, setting up a mini technology centre in the district and construction of tourist lodge at Zemenu Town. The decision was taken during Zemenu DPDP monthly meeting held on 12th of this month at ESC headquarters, Zokin, under the chairmanship of MLA Joinka Sep. During the meeting, SEP requested members to extend the cooperation and urged them to be sincere, dedicated and diligent in their assigned duties and responsibilities. Zeminu Deputy Commissioner and Vice Chairman of DPDP, Dr. Zase Golie Chusi, loaded the Tsokin Range Public Organization, TRPO, for hosting the meeting. Meanwhile, TRPO requested the administration for upgradation of roads from ESC headquarters, Zokin, to Lokwen Sinyu village, setting up of veterinary dispensary and quarantine check post at Zokin, upgradation of health sub-centre at Centre New to PHC. National Investigation Agency, NIA, today conducted searches at 13 locations in Jammu and Kashmir in a terror funding case. The agency raided Budgam, Shopian, Bulwama, Srinagar and Anantnak districts in the case for carrying out terrorist and subversive activities in the state by various proscribed organizations including Jamaat-e-Islami. The raids were underway at Bulwama. Jamaat-e-Islami has been found carrying out terror funding activities in Jammu and Kashmir even after being declared an unlawful association under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act on 28 February 2019. The terrorist activities have been carried out under various pseudonyms at the behest of their Pakistani commanders and handlers. A young traveller, mountaineer and athlete from Nataram village in Rajkar district of Madhya Pradesh, Asha Malviya, reached Nagaland's capital Kohima today. Malviya is on a solo cycle ride, some Burun Parad Yatra. On reaching Kohima, she called on Deputy Commissioner Kohima, Shanavasi, at his office chamber. Malviya is battling to raise awareness towards women's safety, encourage greater participation of women in the tourism sector, and establish India as a safe destination for women. She started her tour on 1st of November last year from Popal and completed on 29th of September this year in New Delhi. Malviya will leave for Manipur and Mizoram next. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will distribute about 71,000 appointment letters to newly inducted recruits through video conferencing tomorrow. On the occasion, he will also address these appointees. The Roskar Mela will be held at 45 locations across the country. The recruitments are taking place across central government departments as well as state governments and union territories. The new recruits selected from across the country will join various positions and posts like Gramin Duck Sevax, Commercial Come Ticket Clerk, Junior Clerk Come Typist, Junior Accounts Clerk, Assistant Section Officer, tax assistants, inspectors, nursing officers, principal, assistant professor, among others. They will get an opportunity to train themselves through Garma Yoki Praramb, which is an online orientation course for all new appointees in various government departments. And now, 20 News, here are main points again. Union Environment Minister Pubendri Yadav launches mobile application called Mary Life. Union Home Minister Amit Shah says government has repealed around 2,000 irrelevant laws since 2015. Nagaland Foothill Road Coordination Committee will undertake joint inspection from Newland to Dizit to ascertain technical completion of the road construction. And two-day tribal 
Artisan Smeller begins in Town Hall, Twensang. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.